Well, morning there. Today I've uh, brought myself to the Grand Union Canal. Um, having had a couple of uh, desperately hard sessions on the river, I thought I'd treat myself, uh, bring myself out here. Um, almost certain to get some bites, uh, which will be an improvement on the last two uh, sessions on the Great Ooze. Um, so, yeah, I just need to, I need, need, need to catch a few fish today because uh, there's only so much you can take, you know, and it's been a real struggle. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to start. Going to start off on a, on a bread line at uh, five sections just just in front of me um, and then I'm going to put a ball or two of ground bait over just going up the far shelf I've got three foot of water just coming up the slope there uh, and then I've got another rig set up for further across into about two foot of water if the boats start coming through and push the fish over um, so really really simple just keep it nice and simple so if I can get a few bites um, and failing that, if I struggle, I shall set up a chop worm line and uh, do that. But that's not something I intend doing unless I have to. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get some bait in and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Cheers. Okay, that's just, just a bit of bread gone in, just nice, lightly squeezed and just a pinch of pink with a pinch of squats in it at five metres and uh, we'll see what goes with that. Okay, right, that's the bait in. So um, I'm going to start off on bread punch and uh, see if I catch a few fish closer in. And uh, failing that, we've got the uh, we've got the ground bait line set up for somewhere to move on to. I'm not going to prime the the, uh, the further line until I need to uh, start thinking about coming off the first one. Um, so I've always got one primed up, ready to go, basically. So if we need to move, we can move. There we go, fish number two. Um, had 15 minutes on the bread line and didn't get a bite unfortunately, so uh, I pinned it off and uh, put a pinky on and gone over the ground bait. Got two balls of ground bait just up the shelf there. Into three, sort of three, three and a half foot of water. And um, a couple of minutes I've had a fish and that's what the second one I've got so. Uh, some days it's like that here, I mean, you're either going to catch close in, or you ain't really. Um, and I normally find if you do, you don't catch for very long anyway. But you, you know, you can normally get a few fish close in, but rather than waste time, I've gone across anyway. So we'll see how we get on over here. And if we need to, we can put another section on and just go up the shelf a bit and follow the fish up if, if we need to. But we'll see how it develops and how many boats we get through. At the minute, we've had none. so. Uh, Fingers crossed, eh?
right, we're now, we're now starting to get some fish now off the uh, off the far line. As, as suspected, the boats have pushed them up the shelf a bit. Just, you know, it went right over right over the ground baited area. But um, yeah, we're catching a few fish now on the far side, so uh, we'll keep going with that. Just lose food and a few squats and pinkies mm -hmm. over the top. So it's about the fish back. I've had a couple of bat stamp roach. Um, not massive, of course, but they're definitely better than the ounce fish I was catching. So um, I might just try a caster and see what we can uh, sort of do with a caster. I mean, I've been catching them on pinky, but we're going to go on a caster and see what happens. Anyway, that concludes it for the uh, for the session today. Um, I've quite enjoyed it. It's it's been tough going. A lot of boats, and I've had three boats push right over the far side there, thinking they're doing me a favour, and just ruined ruined my far line. Um, I did get it back and catch a few fish, but it was never right after after the boats went through. Um, I was going to show you the rigs before I packed up packed them up, but I forgot. So uh, I'll explain them to you anyway. Both floats, both, I've just used two rigs, two top kits today, all I've fished three lines. Um, I quite often do that, save setting up too much gear. Um, both floats are the same, they're just like homemade Chianti floats. One's uh, 0.2 of a gram, one's 0.3 of a gram, uh, with a, I think it's a 1.2 millimetre hollow tip on them. Um, 0.3 I was fishing over in about 3, 3, three foot 4 of water. Um, over ground bait, uh, which which would have been okay, but again, boats ruined that very early on. So I ended up pushing over to the two foot, you know, to the two foot uh, line with a point two float, and uh, just basically loose fed. 
and uh, I did catch a few fish but like I say each time a boat come through it ruined it and the, the, and the three that went over my line just completely trashed it. Anyway we'll have a look at the fish in a minute and uh, see what we've got. I'm going to guess and say I've got two and a half, three pound. Not a massive catch by any standards but uh, very pleased to have caught some fish and it's you know, there's been some bites and it's been something to work on. Um, without the boats possibly knowing this area probably could have had five pound five pounds a pretty average weight along here um, but it is what it is so uh, we'll have a look at the fish and see what we've got well there we have it absolutely pleased to have caught some fish today <coughs> not a great catch but there's two pound 14 ounces there so just shy three pound a few fish that were a bit better stamp but uh, you often you often do get them a bit bigger along here but you know can't grumble that's the kind of smaller stamp we've had but there you go so it's a few bites and uh, it's better than a blank on the uh, 10 mile bank so uh, see you next time take it easy cheers if ever Dance in there, in there, oh, sunshine.